Hey, what's going on YouTube? Aaron here and I'm holding the camera with my hands because I don't expect this to be very long. As always, please and thank you, subscribe to Verse T. And so, I saw T.S. Madison's new Queen's Court, Supreme Court, and I must say that I was thrilled to see Lil Mo is one of the guest hosts, or, well, hopefully she's the new permanent host with T.S. Madison and Shekinah, I think is how you say it. But I was so excited to see Lil Mo because I love Lil Mo. And I wanted to do this video explaining that Lil Mo is actually one of my favorite female artists. And it's so interesting because when Lil Mo first came out, because I'm old enough to remember when Lil Mo first came out, but when Lil Mo first came out, she had the song Superwoman, and I was like, okay, that's a cute song on her first album. And then she had the song Ghetto, and I'm like, oh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how I feel ab about her. And th th that was sort of her image, like sort of hood woman and hood chick. And I was like, eh, I'm not really feeling that. Okay. But... See that this is a this is a good outcome for a hookup because I met this dude for a hookup and <clears throat> he was playing Lil Mo's debut album um based on a true story and I was like, oh my gosh, I love this album. Who is this that you're playing? Like everything was so just Oh, I, I still love that. I love everything by her. I do. And I was like, who is this singing? I love this album. And he was like, yeah, this is my Lil Mo album. And I'm like, shut the front door when I finish sucking your dick. Shut the front door. And... <laughs> I, I loved it, and I have been an extreme fan ever since. And I remembered her second album, Meet the Girl Next Door, and I didn't instantly fall in love with that album, like, because it was a bit of a departure sonically from the first album, like, they weren't exactly the same thing, but I listened to it, and... Now, it, it, it's, it's one of my favorite albums ever. Like, it has some of my songs that I would say are my favorite songs ever. And I still listen to, to this day, I love me some Lil Mo. And every time she comes out with a new album, I get it. E even when she did the mixtape, I got that. And I, I, I've just gotten all of her albums. I love her so much. And I'm happy to see that she's on the Queen's Court Supreme Court Editions. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love her. Yes. So I just wanted to tell you all, I wanted to profess my love for Lil Mo out in the open. Anyway, talk before somebody calls because I just realized that I didn't put my phone in airplane mode. So I'm going to have to end quickly because I'll probably get a call like now. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later, YouTube. Let me release with just one hand and say peace. Stay blessed. Love y'all. <laughs>